Hi there fellow YouTubers, I'm here today to just do a brief demonstration of my RFID system. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the entire setup that I have here. Um, here are my two RFID tags. Uh, this is my RFID reader slash writer. Uh, here I have a couple of momentary switches which control my graphical user interface on the TFD screen. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and set my camera down. Alrighty, here we are. So in my actual um, program I have four modes. Um, erase block one obviously will just erase the first block, uh, first data block. Quota mode, what it does is it essentially um, keeps a count of the number of times that the RFID tag comes in contact or close enough to the reader. ID mode will identify the serial number um, of the card itself and um, I've put in a little security measure um, just to identify which tags are authorized and which tags aren't. And the last but not least is read any block which essentially reads any block on the RFID card um, that you specify. The blocks range from 0 to 63. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one which is the easiest one to show, quota mode. So by using my key pad that I have to the left of me. Um, I'm just controlling and going through the menu and I'm gonna tap my RFID tag, my blue key fob that I have here. And what it tells you is your quota. And as you see every time you tap next to the reader, the quota increases. Um, the next mode that I would like to show is basically uh, erasing that to reset the quota. So currently right now I have it so that the quota is being written to the first block on the 16th uh, byte or 15 if you're using index 0. So what I'll do here is I'm going to just have my uh, blue RFID tag again next to the reader and it tells me the erase is complete. I'm going to go back and the quota should reset back to 1 as you can see here. All right. Uh, the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is basically reading the RFID card um, on that specific block. Okay, So in my read any block function you just specify the block number that you want to read. Like I said before, it goes up to 63. Um, and go all the way back down to 1 as I had it. Okay. Come on. There we go. Alright. I'm going to place my, again, my blue RFID tag next to the reader. And it's going to read everything for you. And the way this goes is it goes from, so this is, corresponds to block 0 to 3 goes from left to right and top to bottom. So this would be block 15 or 16 if you start from 1. And that represents my quota that I have. So currently I've demonstrated that um, the reader and writer both work in reading um, and erasing, writing in this case, um, as well as a quota mode. And the next mode that I'm going to demonstrate is the ID mode, which I find to be a little bit more interesting. Um, the nature of RFID is usually used in this mode specifically and what it will do is it'll identify each of my two tags so I'm gonna just zoom out again um, so currently I have my white tag and the blue RFID key fob and each and every one of these devices will identify differently so with the blue RFID device or tag it'll identify with a serial number and it grants me access in this case you know, I've programmed it to load a picture of Lindsey Sterling, my favorite hip-hop violinist. And with the white key tag card, it identifies a different serial number. Still gives access, because we just love Lindsey. And now I have a third key fob right here. This is my gray key fob that I have here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and tap on it and see what it tells me. And I programmed it to deauthorize anyone. So I think this is probably the most common use of RFID, um, other than using it for Presto cards and keeping track of your quota when you're writing a TTC, if you live in Toronto. Um, but yeah, so those are the four modes that I have as displayed here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you like my video. Um, I can post code and um, the data sheet uh, under the video so you guys can have a better look at it. Okay, thanks for watching.